Charges have been filed in connection to Saturday's deadly crash on the Lloyd Expressway in Evansville. Police are also releasing details on events leading up to that crash. Now, police say the man who caused the wreck that killed a UE student was going over 100 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey joins us live in Evansville with the latest on this. Cody? That's right, Brad and Shelley. We were here at the intersection, the scene of Saturday's deadly crash near the Lloyd Expressway in Fielding Road. Police say data shows the vehicle of Jared Reed was traveling anywhere between 106 to 115 miles per hour at the time of that crash. Now, police say that Reed crashed into a vehicle at the intersection of Lloyd and Fielding, driven by Muhammad Khan. Khan died at the scene. A driver of a third vehicle was injured, and police say the injury was an apparent fracture ankle. The documents show several witnesses told police they saw Reed's vehicle going about 100 miles per hour when the crash happened. Other witnesses told police they saw Reed passing vehicles on the shoulder of the road. While at the hospital, police say Reed had trouble answering some questions and saying things about cyber attacks and that he was heading to the Pentagon before the crash occurred, allegedly telling police that his name was Jonathan Christ, a name that police says do not exist. Now, documents say Reed kept referring to a non-disclosure agreement and wouldn't answer certain questions telling police that his vehicle was property of the government. According to police, Reed is prone to schizophrenia and command hallucinations. Police also say with the data recording devices in the vehicles that Khan's vehicle was damaged so badly they were not able to recover those data recordings. Reed faces several charges, including reckless homicide. Reporting in Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.